Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my ADC channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over the um, <laughs> jumbling, jumbling my words a little bit. It's been a been a long couple days. Um, today's video, we're going to go over the new Open Glow uh, from the May 2023 Olight sale. So we're not going to waste a bunch of time. Let's get into it. time getting getting myself together uh, we've got a dog that um, we have we have a we have a few dogs but one of our dogs got a uh, spinal cord injury um, so yeah it's been just been rough I'm not sleeping a whole lot um, so here is your Olight open glow and uh, this is the new iteration of the Olight line um, for the opens so so far I like this thing a lot I've been carrying it been using it uh, yep, there's my model number, or my serial number. <laughs> uh, yeah, just because it's number one doesn't mean it shouldn't be used. So, um, this thing's pretty sweet. The features are pretty, actually, pretty nice. And you can find this guy on the Olight website, uh, at Olight store, uh, for about $56, roughly 60 bucks after you check out all that, you know, taxes, fees, all that good stuff. And, uh, they have plenty of other bundles for the May sale that's going on right now. So now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, do a couple size comparisons real fast after we um, get the length. Here we go. So we are just at almost six and a quarter. So not me, pretty, pretty, and that's a pretty good size for a pin. Um, let's take a look at how much it weighs. There we go. And 1.3 ounces. Yeah, man, my my nerves have been shot lately. So I've got, I know I've got a lot of YouTube comments that I need to reply to and other stuff. I've just, oh, it's been a lot. Um, so here, I'm just going to do a couple little comparisons just to give you an idea about how big this pen is. Um, so here's your Oticle, Oticle, your utility knife from Olight and the i3t and i'm going to remove these for just a second and we're going to do oh that's my remote so here is let's turn this this way for the pocket clip to face the same way as the other stuff um so here's an i5t get an idea of the size there and uh we'll do an arc feld a lot of people have an arc feld so that'll give you an idea on those two there uh get these guys a little bit farther out of the way now, I'm going to go ahead and throw down the Open Pro. There you go. You can see they're pretty much the same size and design. Um, and then we'll do, like, say, an Open Mini. There we go. And just just for good measure, here you go. Here's a Pair uh, 2, Spyderco Pair 2, PM2, whatever you want to say. Give you an idea of the size of that pen. It is a good size pen, and that that should show it right there. The PM2 is a, a big knife. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably enough size comparisons. So this pen is really cool because it has a couple new features. And before we get into the new features, uh, just know this top half here. Um, it does say that this is, I believe, IPX four rated um hold on let me let me confirm uh i thought i had yes ipx4 so this is ipx4 i don't know what's going on with my camera it's being weird about <laughs> about the focus oh man okay so if you don't know how these pens work at least the top portions especially with the open pros too so here we'll There we go. So on the Open Pro and the Open Glow, you'll see the big difference here. So we have the pen, we have the buttons. The buttons will actuate 
the the light on the open pro on this open holding that down turns on our laser so it looks like the same design but it is not and of course you can see on here you have your USB-C charger and the open glow does not use USB USB-C at least to plug in directly to the pen um, your USB-C actually goes to uh, I can't see it there we go it goes to this guy here and we'll check that out here in just a second so whenever you press up on this bolt here you can see the bolt will hit this guy here and actually this is a completely different design it looks like there's something going on on the inside of that pen that we can't see if we look on the inside of this pen when i press up you can see the pad moves see well this guy we actually have a metal plate and this bolt doesn't actually move up so you can see it's noticeable the bolt on this one moves on this one nothing so that's a nice redesign it's not not really mechanical anymore oh i feel like i'm gonna sneeze oh man allergies all right so let's move this or put this back together real fast oh geez Ugh. okay and I've already blown my nose I don't know what's going on so if we press and hold up on the bolt you can see we get our laser pointer go ahead and turn that off and if we tap the top of this which is a completely new design because if you have an open pro you know this does nothing so we will Tap this, and that just turns it on and off. If you tap and hold for about two seconds, it puts it into lockout mode, and then all you have is a momentary. So we'll press for a couple seconds, and you'll see the blink to let you know you're coming out of momentary. And then if we open the pin and turn, press that same button, it turns on the bottom. Now you can double tap to take you straight to um, the turbo, or if you just tap to turn it on and then hold, you can cycle through all the brightness settings. And that's pretty much the skinny on the operation of this. So, um, you know, it's a pen. It's not gonna be a long video, but it's a really cool pen because it has a lot of cool features. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. Uh, first thing is we are going to test out this clip. And it slides in pretty easy. It would have been better if I'd have put this on lockout like it was intended. But you can see here, slides right in the pocket, no issues. We'll try an open pro. You see the open pro slides into this pocket too. Uh, I've used this pen a lot, so this clip is a little, little broken in. But they pretty much have the same retention from what I'm feeling. At first glance, this feels like it's not as rigid. I mean, look how look how far I can bend this out. If I do the same thing with this one, it takes a little bit more force, but uh, I don't know. It might just be because copper is, you know, shiny, smooth. All right, so let's see how these lights hold up. Let's go ahead and turn off some lighting here. And we're going to do this in two different Two different ways so we are going to write with the top half on and then we will try with the bottom half on and we'll see what the difference is so i've also got my open pro here and we'll see how much of a difference this makes so we are shutting off lights and last but not least okay we are in the dock all right, so let me turn on, take this out of lockout. So here is your top half of your light. And so this this will work. Um, not It's not very effective. See, whenever you're writing, you're going to hold it like this, and you're going to get all kinds of random. So the most, I, to me, the easiest way to do this is like this. 
if if you must, you can hold. Of course, I can cycle to a different brightness, and I can I can start writing. And it feels kind of like the O Pen Mini. This is the top half light. So you can see here, whenever you're holding this, oh, where is my mini? It's dark. Yeah, see, it's pretty similar size whenever I'm writing like this. That's gonna be eh, not a little bit less than ideal. But this, this would work if you're in a pinch and you needed light. And then of course we have our turbo. So this, this does a pretty good job. We'll turn this back on just for a second so I can put them back together. It's not super, super dark in here, but it is definitely dark enough to test out a pin light. Come on, go back together. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. Now we will test out the bottom side. So this is a whole lot better. Um, yeah, it's, it's a shame you can't really turn the brightness up and down, but I guess you wouldn't really need it to be super bright unless I, I, I don't know, you're writing a document the size of like the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> so this is the, the tip, we'll just say the tip light. <laughs> And it's actually pretty easy to write with. Um, it works. It works very well. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty genius design. Um, let's see. A light. Open glow. There we go. So yeah, this is this is cool. This is a cool design. I like this a lot. And you can press and hold the top, and then you can turn both on while you're uh, writing with the bottom. So you can actually have light around you while you're writing too. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty pretty interesting design. Um, the thing about this bottom light that I'm curious about, if anybody picks up any of the other colors, mine's got kind of a red hue. And I want to know if that's due to the color of the pen. So if you pick up like the blue one or the black one, I want to know if yours if yours does this too. This is this is interesting. But I really, I really do think this is a cool feature. Um, it's getting a lot of hate recently, you know, just kind of being gimmicky. But uh, I, I don't know. It, it seems, it seems a little bit more useful um, than probably this light, to be honest, because that one, that one comes out, you know, good in a pinch. But it's, it's you're not gonna write with that light, so it's more of just literally a pen light. So uh, having it, having this guy here is, I think that's pretty cool, man. Um, so the only thing we really didn't talk about were run times. So we'll get this out of the way and we'll just talk on run times for just a couple seconds and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, so run time, run time. If we start with, we'll start with clip first. So press and hold for a second and we can go into our moonlight. So with our moonlight, um, you're, it's five, lum five lumens. I had to look at my, look at my notes, five lumens and you'll get five hours off of that. And then if we move it up to low, there you go. That's 20 lumens for 110 minutes, 45, um, 45 minutes is going to be your runtime on the, on the medium and that's 60 lumens. And then if we turbo we're 120 lumens for about 15 minutes, and then it'll step down to 60 lumens for about 21 minutes. If we turn on the tip here, <laughs> your tip is 0.2 lumens and you're going to get two and a half hours of runtime. I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe it's just harder to, I, I don't know. Seems kind of, seems kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I, I don't know. Where is it? There it goes. All right. Last thing we didn't talk about this charging base. And there it goes. Mine's charging. Look, we'll do this one more time. Just so everybody can see. And there you go. If you wiggle it, 
Yeah, it's not going to make good connection. Um, I haven't had any any problems with just sliding it in there and then it doing what it needs to do. Um, it's kind of yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with this is, but that's been my experience with this uh, charging base. It hasn't had any issues though. It does charge well, but it doesn't take much for it to, you know, disconnect, not not charge appropriately. But like I said, that's only if you're tapping it. Maybe if you have a cat or something, it's probably not a good idea. I don't know. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> but aside from that, you know, red light for charging, green light for fully charged. Um, so rundown on this pen. I think the pen's cool. Um, it's basically the Open Pro, but they definitely have done better on the design, especially for this top half. You do have a clickable top button. You do have the bottom glow portion of this. And they finally got rid of moving this up, turn, up, moves a pad like a mechanical switch, and they actually made it digital, which is cool. Um, I think it's got all the right upgrades, especially if you carry the Open Pro like I do. I write with these every day. Uh, I have the Open 2 that I, I carry every day now. Love that pen. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's cool, and I think they definitely, if you're an Open Pro person, I think they definitely made the necessary upgrades to the Open Pro, and they added a couple new features. So, uh, I think... This thing is pretty freaking sweet. So that's been a long video on a pen. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you enjoyed the content, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. And right before we do that, just for all the people that want to see it, there's your cartridge. And you can see, there you go. See how? Now, if we want to take the cartridge out, just pops out inside of that tube. It is just like a pressure fit. So you can just push it back down in there, slide this over, tighten it down. And you're ready to rock and roll. And at somehow I turned on my laser. <laughs> but that, that's that's literally all there is to it. Um, I at whenever I first open box this, I uh, didn't realize that you just had to pull it out. So I almost forgot to touch base on that. So now we won the video. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.